Hey Jim, Mitch Crum here, U.S. Golf Schools. I'm here with Ted, and we've been looking at your swings. I'm going to send you this one of a wedge, but there's some things we noticed with your driver that we really need to try to do with all your clubs. Number one, I saw some pictures where you got your ball position too far forward. You got to make sure that it's underneath your spine with the wedge or the short clubs and not up by your left heel. And a great way to remember is that the shorter the club, the more you pull your right foot in. I love that width of your stance there with the wedge. I love the width of your stance with your drivers as it gets longer. Um, so you can always move that ball maybe touching that left heel with the, with the right foot outside your shoulder with the driver. And then with all your irons, try to keep that maybe two inches inside and then pull that right foot in. That might be a little too far back for a wedge, but I'd rather be too far back than too far forward. Now, I want you to notice how you have a shaft lean when you start. And what we've noticed with your drivers in the longer clubs is, is at impact, you're so right side controlled, the face gets a little closed, okay? This is why you have a tendency to aim and swing out to the right because your face is always closed at impact because you are so dominant right side, um, so dominant with that right side. And as you see, this is a wedge. This lean should be even more when you get back to impact. And what I mean by that is the handle should be way up here and the face should be back there at impact. You're total opposite. When you get to impact, Great little slide, nice little rotation, but the hit is with the hands, and you see how you're hitting off the back foot. Now, we can do some left side control drills. What I mean by that is you need to take that right hand and put it, take it off, bare, off the club and just set it on top of the left hand or do a claw grip and hit some little shots with just your left hand only. talk about your backswing great motion there your weight goes to the right side nice turn you get your left shoulder over your right thigh that's a fantastic turn I like that motion okay try to make sure you don't let the weight go outside the right foot though okay that's one reason you're having trouble getting back to impact because you let the weight kind of roll to the outside right here. That right knee should be kicked in and the weight should stay on the inside of that right foot. Now as you start down, you have a beautiful little slide, but you gotta work on letting the left hand at impact should be up here. Don't hit with the right side, relax the right side, hit with the back of the glove. Great way to think about it is pretend you have a bell right here. Try to hit the back of the glove to that bell as you're practicing. <coughs> you can pretty much take that right side off and just let it sit on top of the left and practice just one-handed swings. Now, one thing at setup that we, me and Ted have talked about is this is just way too stiff with the arms. Try to relax the arms, especially the right arm. Love your left hand and grip, it's great. I like this position with the left, but this is too straight. You can see how close your elbows are here. Let's go back to impact and see if those elbows are that close at impact. You can see at impact, they get farther apart. So, that's much better position there where your right elbow is a little flexed. Try to start in that position where the right elbow is a little flexor, relaxed. Elbows don't have to be touching at setup. Now, as you come through, you do a lot of great things. But you can see it's a flip instead of a rotation. At this point, the left hand of the glove should be turning over. This should still be cupped. Your right hand is bowed. So I'm going to send you that. we got to do some left side control drills. I'm going to send you that. And then I'm going to do one more for you so you'll get one more video.